What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, clear your memory. Oh, this is on a 07 F-150, the 5.4 piece of shit Triton. Uh, some people say if you take your negative cable off, leave it off for five minutes, put it back on, that you've cleared the memory and whatever. That isn't true, at least necessarily on Ford. Um, what you gotta do is, well, here, I'll just show you. I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna show you how how it's done. Uh, I'm gonna get the camera right here, I think. Okay, so I have two batteries in here, which is not an issue, but everything to my, this is how I was taught to run my plow truck. Everything that normally goes to the first battery goes to the first battery. It's that simple. Then you just go positive to positive, negative to negative. So that trickle charge is this battery. And you put your plow stuff on just this battery. So the regular stuff's always on here. And your plow stuff goes to this battery and a positive and negative. Just, you know, trickle charge it. So what I'm going to do is take the, the negative off of the second battery because it does run through to that one. So just to be safe. Uh, otherwise... All I would have took off for the this video for what I'm doing, I would have just one battery. All I would have do is just take the uh, negative off on that side. So anyway, we'll uh, disconnect this side on negative too, just so nothing uh, comes through on it. If I can get all these cables to back up enough for a, so they're not going to touch while I'm doing this. Okay, so like I said, if this was uh, if this was just for the purpose of the video, one battery, forget what I just did on that one. I was just showing you how you can uh, hook up two batteries in a plow truck. You know, some of them have a plow package where there's a spot on the other side for it, but this particular one, the batteries here, so I had to take case out and kind of custom put these in and make it work, which is no big deal. But anyway, so what you want to do is get the negative cable off and get something between this here and twist. Get that terminal to open up a little bit. Ah, let me grab a screwdriver. I guess I uh, didn't think this one all the way through. <laughs> so, let's get a big screwdriver, pry bar, whatever will fit in there. Open that up a little bit. Get her to come up, well, supposedly. Come on, you prick. Ah. All right, she needs a little persuading, I guess. Come on, baby. There you go. Okay. So really, all you should do to clear this, now well, this is going to clear the PCM memory in the computer, but it, it holds a charge. So basically, if you if you take this battery terminal off and just leave it off for five minutes, put it back on, it doesn't actually drain the PCM. So this is this is very important. Now you just take your take a jumper cable and go from your positive side of the battery back to the negative terminal when it's off the battery. Like so. Positive side to the negative cable when it's off not when it's on you have to take it off now i would say that you should leave this for at least five if not ten minutes i would go ten minutes just to make sure this is going to drain all the juice that's in the, the pcm and blah 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 so this is going to relearn everything now when you fire this up after now i'm doing this because i'm putting in a mass flow sensor and when you do that or you take the throttle body off and clean it or anything like that 
you're supposed to reset your computer. So uh, after you re put your mass flow in now, leave this on for 10 minutes or more, get your new mass flow, whatever, put everything back on. When you start it, you should let it run for about 10 minutes, then take it out and drive it and drive it slow at first and go through the shiftings because the computer is gonna relearn the shift uh, programs too, the rough ones, you know, one through five. And it'll just drive it normal, don't hammer on it, and let the computer learn the rough shifts. Just so make sure your first couple drives, just let it shift normal and drive normal and easy and whatever. Then after that, within the next couple days, the computer will learn the, the more fine shifting patterns, you know, the millisecond stuff and all that crap. So that's pretty much it. But if you take your um, mass flow out and change it, you need to do this procedure. If you take the throttle body off and clean it, which I've done, you need to do this procedure. So that, that's pretty much how it's done. That's all. That is how you completely cure and clean out your computer so you can start from uh, zero again. Because I've been told if you have a problem, like let's say it's the mass flow, right? And you put the new one in and you just pulled that negative cable off, left it for five minutes, put it back on. That the PCM can still be holding what was wrong in there without completely clearing it. It might not take this new mass flow and correct itself. So it's a pretty important procedure for Ford. Uh, check with whoever about Chevrolet and Chrysler and whatever. I don't know. I'm just talking about my Ford F-150, the 5.4 piece of shit Triton motor. But anyway, that's how you do it. So... Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.